Hey everyone, it's Amy. Today I'm going to be starting a bunch of vlog clips. So I have officially launched my little tiny sticker shop. It is called Happy Olive Studio and my pre-orders have already gone up. So thank you so much to everyone who has already submitted their orders. I'm just so, so happy and I cannot thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My pre-order form is still up and it will be up until April 22nd. So that is the period where I will be taking pre-orders. And then after pre-orders close is when um, I will start shipping out your orders. I might start shipping them even earlier than that, but I just need to give myself some wiggle room, you know, to produce everything and make sure I have enough supplies and also leave myself a little leeway just in case something breaks and I need to quickly replace it you know what I'm saying can't really predict these things but I'm just trying to cover you know all my bases at the moment I don't have an official website because this is really kind of a trial thing that I'm doing right now so I basically just have an order form set up I'll link to it in the description below but if you also want to follow my Instagram accounts I will also have links to the form there as well so you can follow my k-pop account which is lil tamey which is the exact same name as this channel or you can follow my brand new sticker account which is at happy olive studio but i thought i would go ahead and start out uh, with our first clip being you know what exactly have i decided to put up for pre-order <laughs> so the first thing are my deco doodles these are printed on glossy paper and I've showed this previously before in an older video where I decorated a top loader. Here's an example of that. There is a difference though since this is one of the very first things I ever printed. Um, it is on matte paper. This is on matte paper. Since then I have changed it where I made it glossy instead of matte because I just think that the glossy pops a little bit better. And yeah, um, so far I've had really good response with these. So yeah, these are the first items that I have up for pre-order. Next up, we have these brunch club ones. I feel like this one has so far done really well with the pre-orders. I also originally showed this in another video where that was really more of like my prototype and I have since changed up a few of the designs just to make it look a little bit neater. But yes, uh, this is on matte paper. It is on a weatherproof paper, meaning that if you happen to spill water on it, it should not damage it. Now, this doesn't mean that you should like go and soak this in water, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it should be relatively safe if you accidentally get it a little bit wet. And then I have Garden Pals. This was one of the first sheets that I actually ever designed because I wanted to do something with little carrots on it because I had just become a 17 carat around that time as well and I just thought that it would be cute to kind of commemorate that. So this sheet means a lot to me. It is a very simple design. Um, it is also kiss cut and it is also on that weatherproof matte sticker paper. Next up we have Spring Day. This was one of the most recent sheets that I designed. It is on glossy paper and as you can see it is a little bit bigger. So yeah, inspired by spring, of course, I really wanted to draw some cute bunnies and a frog. So yeah, we've got some die cut stickers as well. Starting out, we have these two flip phones. This one is just on regular glossy paper, but then uh, there is also this one with holographic broken glass. Hopefully that is showing up on camera. But yeah, so far the holographic ones have been pretty popular in the pre-orders. Here's another flip phone style. As you can see, I also gave this one a holographic broken glass laminate. And then also we have plain glossy paper. Lastly, this is one of the designs that I just recently made. I call this the Cosmos carton. <laughs> I've basically always wanted to make like a milk carton sticker and I gave this like a starry laminate. So it's really, really shiny. And it is also going to be available in a plain glossy as well if hollow is not your thing. Every order will come with a free olive sticker. She is printed on glossy paper. And I was also going to include these little mini flip phones as well. And yeah, that's it. Here's my thank you note. So I'm really excited for everything. Um, I hope that you all check it out. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Hey guys, I'm so excited. I got a new fun little gadget that I'm really hoping it's going to help me out a lot. Oh, 
my cat just showed up. So this is Olive, <laughs> who is also the namesake of my shop, Happy Olive Studio. But anyways, oh my god, there's a tail. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so excited. I really wanted to just like open this on camera and get everything set up for this little vlog that I'm doing. So this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Basically, I really wanted to have a thermal printer for, you know, shipping labels. And I originally bought one from Dymo, but it only prints four by six labels. And I wanted a machine that was a bit more versatile. And my friend Kate was telling me about the... Munbin, Munbin, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. And she was saying that, you know, this has been an amazing product and um, it can print various label sizes and things like that. So, okay, <laughs> let's see. Here's what I am looking at here. The power, some manuals. Oh, it comes with like a little USB stick thing which um, I'm not quite sure what that entails. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so little. <laughs> I'm so happy that it's small. Okay, we've got a cord. Um, let's see. Another thing. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Look, it's so cute. It is like the most darling little thing. <laughs> So here she is. Is she not just the cutest? Hopefully it will focus. But yes, I went with pink and here's the top. It is so little. It actually looks a lot bigger um, like on online. I, I got this off of Amazon because I wanted it to get here very quickly. So yes, it looks like it's preloaded with like, I don't know if they're instructions or an example. Okay, it looks like I have to press this button to open. Maybe. Oh, oh, it goes like this. It opens like that. So yeah, you just load your papers into here. It looks like these are the little grips that lets you adjust what paper size you're using. And this was why I am returning my other thermal printer because I'm not able to adjust the sizing with that machine. Here's the sample. Oh, we've got some... We've got the sample uh, four by six sheets in here so that's nice I do have a roll already from my other printer that I bought completely separately so hopefully um, it should be compatible with this but yeah okay I'm excited let's get this set up okay it's all set up it was super super quick I ended up just watching a video tutorial that had a QR code like in the instructions so it was super easy I've already calibrated it which was super simple. All I had to do was just put the sticker sheet through the machine and I had to hold down this green button until it beeped and then the machine just automatically calibrated everything. So now it knows that it's going to be printing out a four by six sticker sheet. When it calibrated, it did spit out two blank pages. So I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna leave it alone right now, but I am going to print out um, a test sheet here. So it says label sample. This is a fake address, I guess. <laughs> I've already gone into my printer settings to make sure that it's gonna print in an A4 size. So let's test that out right now. Um, I'm just gonna go to print. Okay, so we are in print. I need to choose the Munbin uh, paper size. Let's do, I'll just choose four by six again, just to be safe. All right, let's hit print. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. <laughs> oh wow, really easy to rip too. Oh, I love this. Okay, great, and then I can actually still use these. I just have to feed it through later. So, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this label printer. And that's what that looks like. Okay, this is gonna make my life so much easier because not only am I going to use it for, you know, my little sticker shop, but I will use it a lot for when I'm doing like sales and trades that are related more to, you know, K-pop. Also, if you were curious what this USB card reader is, 
it's just to install the driver. I didn't end up needing to use it because you can just go to their website and download the driver that way. So yeah, um, at the moment I do not need to use this. So yes, I'm so excited to use this. Oh my God, thank you so much to my friend Kate for mentioning this product to me. I'm also planning to get like smaller labels so that I can print out like smaller address labels. I think that'll be really, really convenient too. The only downside that I'm noticing right now is that, you know, it's not Bluetooth. So I do have to connect it via a USB to my computer but hopefully that shouldn't be too annoying. I think I'm just going to set it up right next to my desk. I have, I do not have a lot of desk space, as you can see, like it's just not very wide. <laughs> so, um, but I think what I'm going to do, let me kind of turn this over. I think I'm gonna set it up here. Um, so we'll try to figure out how to do this because um, the paper feeds through from the back. I don't know if you can see it over here. Um, let me move this back over. But yeah, like I was saying, the paper feeds through the back, so I definitely need to give it extra room in the back half to, you know, be able to feed the paper. So I will figure all that out. But in the meantime, oh my God, I'm so happy to have this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully this was interesting information. I'm not sure. I'll leave a link to where I got this from. But like I said, this is not sponsored. I just got it off of Amazon and I'm really excited to use it.